Hi everyone. I hope you're all well and I hope that you're all enjoying yourselves at home. We've been having some lovely sunshine recently, so I hope that you've all been managing to get outside, spend time with your family and have lots of fun in the sunshine. Now, I know it's been a really long time since some of you have been at school and this feels really strange me having to talk to my camera, but some of you may remember me from when you were in year two um, and remember my name, but I am Miss Putland. And I am the year three teacher and I'm really looking forward to all of you coming into St Nicholas class in September. It's strange, isn't it? Because I feel like this year has gone really quickly and it's been a bit of a strange year as well. So it's okay if you're feeling a little bit nervous about coming back to school after being away for so long, months you, some of you guys have been away. So I know that can feel a little bit strange. I know some of you might feel a little bit nervous, but that's fine because I think the adults in school as well might be feeling a little bit nervous about coming back after such a long time. And especially coming back to a classroom where you don't know the classroom, you don't know the teacher and it all can feel a bit new. So that's why hopefully I'm doing this video uh, to tell you a little bit about myself, a little bit about things I like and enjoy so that I'm not a stranger to you when you come in September. And I'm really looking forward to meeting you all properly, face to face um, and having you all in my class and seeing you all come into St Nicholas class in year three. So I'll have a little talk about year three as well. Um, a little bit about what we do in year three in case you've got any questions, but it's not really that different to year two. Obviously, you've got our new classroom and you may remember where the year three classroom is. So it's just that door off the hall um, is where our year three classroom is. And it's quite similar and we do very similar subjects. We still do literacy and we still do maths and we still do RE and topic, all like the other year groups as well. But obviously now coming into year three, you're in key stage two. So that might be slightly different in that lunchtime might be slightly different because we go to lunch a little bit at uh, a different time. Um, it might be that play time's a little bit different uh, because we might use the big playground, even though I know you've been using the big playground anyway. Uh, it might be that you perhaps use a different toilet because you might have to use the Key Stage 2 toilets now rather than using the toilets down by Key Stage 1. Uh, it might be that assemblies are a little bit different because sometimes we'll have Key Stage 2 assemblies with Year 4 year five and year six, rather than having it with year one and reception. So in that way, it can be a little bit different because year three comes up to a different key stage. But other than that, it's very similar and there's nothing for you to worry about. So I'll tell you a little bit about myself um, and about things that I enjoy. Um, so in my spare time, uh, I like going to the beach uh, and going on holiday like most people do. I love traveling and meeting new people and exploring new places. Exploring is one of my favorite things to do ever. Um, so what I have got is I've made myself a little pot here and in my pot, I've got some questions, the so things you might want to know about me, um, about my favorite animal. So what I'm going to do is have a little rummage and I'm going to pull something out and then I'll tell you about what my answer is to the question. So my first one says favorite food. Now. I've definitely got a favourite food. My favourite food is pasta. I'm a little bit pasta crazy. Um, you'll probably see me eating it quite a lot. Uh, I eat it for lunch. I eat it for dinner. I don't really eat it for breakfast. That's a bit strange. Um, but I, 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 I could have it whenever. It's one of my favourite foods. Um, so that's definitely up there. So let's have a look at the next one. Is favourite subject. Now, favourite subject. I have two favourite subjects. So my first one is maths. I really like maths. I really like working things out and problem solving. Um, and my second favourite subject is history. Now I love a bit of history. I love learning about the past. I love learning about how it's shaped how our life is today and how things can be really different. And I'm going to come on to that actually because that kind of links into what our topic is when you come in September. So I'll come back to that later. And have another little rummage in the box. And ooh, the next one is a favourite animal. So my favourite animal is a cat. I am a bit of a crazy cat lady. Um, if you go into my classroom, you may have seen that I have some cat cushions. Uh, I have a little pen that's in the shape of the cat. Um, I just love cats. I think they're really cute. Um, although I don't actually have a cat myself, but fingers crossed, um, I've just moved into a new house, so I hopefully will be getting a kitten soon. I'm keeping my fingers crossed, because uh, that might not be for a couple of months yet. 
Um, but I'm sure I will tell you all about it when the time comes. Uh, okay, let's move on to the next one. It says, oh, favourite colour. Now, I love all colours. I quite like just rainbow multicoloured things. If you ever come into my classroom, you know it's quite colourful. Um, but my favourite colour is yellow. I love everything yellow. I love the sunshine that's yellow. I love sand that's yellow. I love sunflowers that are yellow. I just think that yellow is a really happy colour. Uh, and that's why it's one of my favourite colours as well. And then, last but not least, is my favourite book. Now, as I'm sure the same with a lot of you guys, I love reading. Um, and that's what I'm loving about this weather as well. I enjoy nothing more than sitting in the sunshine, feeling the sun on my skin, and reading a good book is one of my favourite things to do, especially if I'm on a beach as well. That makes it ten times better. Um, but I can't really choose a favourite book, but I definitely had my favourite author. And you may have heard of my favourite author. His name is Michael Merpogo, and he writes some fantastic books. If you've never heard of him, I have got some of his books in my classroom. So if you're interested, you can have a little read of some of his books when you come into year three. Um, but moving on to year three, I said about my favourite subject earlier being history. Now, when you join year three in September, our topic is called heroes and villains. So this topic is what it says on the tin. We learn about all different heroes, so lots of people that have done some really good things in the past, um, and we learn about some villains as well, to so the baddies and different things they've done. Now, I quite like learning about heroes, especially recently. We've been hearing a lot about local heroes. We've been learning a lot about the NHS and the heroic things they're doing. We've learned about uh, the key workers, all the great things they're doing, and also about individuals that have been raising lots of money, like... Um, Tom Moore you may have seen on the news where he raised millions of pounds for the NHS they are all heroes because they've all done fantastic things they continue to do fantastic things and we also learn about lots of heroes from the past as well so uh, Florence Nightingale you may have heard of or Neil Armstrong you may have heard of or Martin Luther King just to name a few they are all heroes and you may have heard of them in the past uh, but if not we will learn about them in year three and if you wanted to do a little bit of research over the summer you could to find out about different heroes and you can tell us all about the things you've learned in September and we also learn about some villains as well so a bit of made up villains normally in a story you'll get a villain you'll get a bit of a bad person who tries to do something nasty so for example Cruella de Vil in 101 Dalmatians is, is a really bad villain um, and also real life villains as well like people called Bonnie and Clyde you may have heard of um, or may not have and we learn about those as well in our topic and as I've said it's one of my favourite topics to do because I really like learning about the past and um, I really learn about people that have done things to shape society um, and to make a big difference to how we live in particular. So that's me and that's all about our new topic in year three so I hope you've enjoyed watching this video and learning a little bit myself and hopefully I'm not as a bit of a stranger as I was perhaps at the beginning of the video. But as I mentioned earlier, I can't wait to meet you all properly, face to face, get to know you all. Um, think of some facts you want to tell me when you come back in September. That would be fantastic for me to hear. But other than that, enjoy your summer. Enjoy the fantastic fantastic weather we are having uh, spend lots of time with your family relax and i will see see you all in september which seems like a long way away but it's not really it'll creep up on us so enjoy yourselves and i will see you then bye